yours now. Mm -hmm. But a man who has given to these two charities and truly personifies a true charity warrior, one of my favorite people in the whole world, Patrick Palmer, General Manager, Crown Plaza Hotel. Milwaukee West, and it is my honor to welcome you to the fifth annual Evening of Elegance. For five years, it's amazing that we've been here for five years, but you know, let's look at what we've accomplished in five years. We've been able to raise over $250,000, closing in on $300,000 for Children's Hospital and Maple Foundation. Woo! That means we've been able to grant over 20 wishes to sick children in southeastern Wisconsin. And the key, the key to that is there's not one dollar of administrative expense that goes into this event. Everything is donated. The flowers, the food, everything is donated from 35 to 40 organizations that come together every year to do the right thing and to make this happen. So we sit here after five years and we wonder, how did this happen? I was asked a couple times tonight, you know, how do we get here? How, how does this happen? So I'm going to tell you a quick story of, of the evolution of Evening of Elegance. So, five or six years ago, there was a phone call that came into the sales office at the Crown Plaza. Linda Olson, who was in our sales department, took the call and she said, there's a woman on the line and she gives, spends 150 days a year at Children's Hospital. She wants to do something, she wants to raise money, she wants to make a difference. She was talking to Children's Hospital and Children's Hospital said, you should call the Crown Plaza, they would be the ones who could help you. Which, that was the comment that got me engaged, but after knowing Tammy for about five years now, I know that might have just been a sales hook, just to get me engaged. <laughs> <laughs> so we made an appointment, and Tammy, myself, and the catering manager sat down in the lobby, the three of us, and we started talking. And after about ten minutes, I had to decide whether I was talking to the most crazy woman I've ever met. <laughs> or the most caring, giving, charitable person I've ever met. So as that's rolling around in my head, the famous Tammy Flynn Binder comes out. I don't know how many of you have engaged with Tammy, but she has this binder. This binder comes out and she starts pulling out stuff and I know Mark. That uh, Baden, I know this, I know this color scheme, I know this TV channel, I know this. And she starts flaming. <laughs> it's almost like she's hypnotizing you to get you to do what she wants you to do. So after about 45 minutes, I said, Tammy, I said, I get it. We're in. I, I, I think this is a great concept. We can make it happen. But what specifically are you asking for the front closet? And she says, Well, I think, you know, your ballroom would be great. If we can hold the event in your ballroom, that would be wonderful. I'm like, okay, I can think about that. And she says, but we've been talking about all these restaurants and this food and stuff, and I think we're going to need wait staff and people and everything. Could you donate your staff? I'm like, okay. <laughs> Remember the flailing? <laughs> So then she says, well, in that innovation restaurant, it's this great restaurant inside the Crown Plaza. I think they should be the signature restaurant at the event. I'm like, so you want the ballroom, the staff, the restaurant? And this voice from somewhere within said, yes. So as I walked away from the meeting, it was the proverbial moment in time when you say, well, this is going to be one of those moments where I'm going to not ask for permission. We're going to beg for forgiveness. And uh, that is probably the moment in my career where I took a leap of faith, but to the credit of the owners of this hotel, to the credit of the management company of this hotel, they have supported this event wholeheartedly from its get-go, and it's an amazing thing that we do every year, and I don't think there's, I mean, we've won awards, we've been recognized nationally, but I don't think there's anything that we're more proud of to, than to host this event. Uh, 